Mobility Device Audio Description Pre-Show This 10-minute documentary follows artist Carmen Papalia, a white man with olive complexion and a full dark beard, who is usually found wearing a dapper, brimmed hat with a feather or satin ribbon. He often sweeps an all-black detection cane with a custom blonde wood handle from side to side in front of him as he walks. The film features Carmen's collaboration with the Carnival Band in Vancouver, British Columbia, an adult community music project of mostly white musicians with several young children who tag joyfully along. Their costumes are eclectic, a mix and match of marching band slacks, jackets and hats, colorful patchwork clothes, casual clothes, and playful accoutrements like flowers and large sunglasses. The film includes interviews with Carmen and the carnival band leader Tim Sars, a white man with shaggy blonde hair and a wide smile. The film also features footage of Carmen and the band walking together as if in a small parade in an experience called Mobility Device, with Carmen near the front. There are also videos from 2013 to 2020 showing snippets of Carmen working with other bands and community members on exhibitions such as earlier Mobility Device iterations, a blind field shuttle, where Carmen leads a long, snaking line of people with their eyes closed and hands on the shoulder of the person in front of them as they walk down the sidewalk and up a stairway, and White Cane Amplified, an event that involves Carmen's white detection cane and a bullhorn. The mobility device parade-like experience moves along park paths and residential streets during rehearsal, and the performance itself culminates at the Kitsilano showboat stage a small, open-air stage enjoyed by sunbathers and exercise classes when not in use for performance. This small stage is milky light blue, and its backdrop is painted with grand staircases and windows and complete with prop showboat smokestacks at the top. It sits at the bottom of an amphitheater with weathered wooden benches. A giant public swimming pool peeks out from behind the stage and backdrop, with a beach and cloud-topped hills just beyond. The stage stands about 18 inches off the ground, the perfect height for sitting on the edge to take audience questions at the end of a performance. But before any performance comes months of rehearsal. A black screen, a pair of jeans-clad legs, and brown leather shoes with wide brown laces. A black detection cane moves in front of the feet, taps a low iron gate, opens it, and steps through. Closes the gate. Title, Mobility Device. The man turns and walks out of view, fade to black. Now on a residential street, a baritone saxophone player leads about a dozen musicians. My name's Carmen Papalia, and I'm a non-visual artist. Interview with Carmen Papalia, artist. Mobility device is a, <laughs> it's a performance where I replace my detection cane with a marching band. I usually use a cane to feel my way through my surroundings, so I tap it from side to side and use it to, to feel. And um, in mobility device, I get rid of my cane and I use the marching band um, and the sounds that they're making to find my way through in an unfamiliar place. 2013 Great Centurion Marching Band, Santa Ana, California. So this is an ongoing performance that started in 2013. And um, for this performance in Vancouver, I've asked the Carnival Band to be my mobility device. Early rehearsal, 2020. It's, it's a strange request to say, okay, you, I'm going to be relying on you as my um, navigation system. Um, <laughs> uh, my safety is in your hands. Um, it, it takes a certain group of people to m meet that request. I mean, I have to admit, I bump into things all the time. And um, there is just like a degree of slapstick in my life. And this is a bit of an extension of that. In the carnival band, a few wear COVID masks, meandering with Carmen through residential streets to and from McSpadden Park, an exuberant dancer in pink. I was introduced to this person, Carmen, who wanted to do this project called Mobility Device, which was super exciting. Um, and also bizarre. At the beginning, I was really, really worried about Carmen. And I still I still am, honestly. I get really, really worried that I'm gonna walk him into oncoming traffic, which I almost did in like our first rehearsal. Tim Sars, band leader, the Carnival Band. Carmen, using his cane, leads the parade now as evening falls. There's this responsibility that gets put on us um, and that 
I've learned a lot from that because I've suddenly realized that I'm in a situation that feels sometimes a little bit dangerous. <laughs> That's what Carmen's dealing with every day. Carmen walks up to a fence, taps, turns. Now he waits for Tim to scout the location at Kitts Beach. Hey. On foot, Tim approaches Carmen. <laughs> Okay, so do you just, based on where we are now, know where the showboat stage is? Yes. <laughs> do you want to, like, kind of walk in that direction and see what we encounter on the way? Yeah, definitely. We've been trying to do this performance for years. It's not the most sustainable system for my access, but, you know, I wish I could use a marching band more days than, than not. And then we come up to uh, the bars. Yeah that are like crisscross to stop bicycles. Yes. So like there's, it ends here. I might And then there's another one right here. Yep. So you kind of have to do this swerve in. You know. Right here, right here. And not, yeah, sorry, just on your right. Now this is the stairway. Okay, so let's there's about test this 50 out. steps. The outdoor staircase leads to the showboat stage. And okay. there's a railing on your right hand side and there's seats on my left hand yep. side. I think of the white cane as an institutional symbol. It's something that is passed down to people from an institution. It, these institutions were started by non-disabled people for the benefit of disabled people who usually didn't have a say or some, you know, some option to kind of like determine the kind of support that they wanted. They just had to accept the kind of support that they were given and be grateful for it. I actually want to, in, in my work, in my life, make the choices um, uh, around my care and support for myself. Taps a white cane near a bullhorn on the ground. The, the cane, I think, is, is a very limiting uh, tool. Um, I think it identifies me as someone who is blind or visually impaired. I don't really even use those words to describe myself. I describe myself as a non-visual learner or non-visual artist um, because I feel like the terms blind and visually impaired still um, privilege visual experience. So I, I like to find more affirming and maybe even like creative um, approaches to my own access and support. Tim. People with disabilities are expected to act a certain way in society and having a brass band be your mobility device isn't that expectation. Carmen and band rehearse through a bike stop section. With each rehearsal, we're finding new ways of cueing and communicating through music and sometimes through crazy noises. <laughs> I think what was, well, because drums were too far ahead, I think, this time, because it was just like a little hard for me to pick out what was the direction there. So we might be doing chromatic walk downs or squeaky, shrill sounds, super dissonant to, to warn of a step or an obstacle. The group strolls along the Kitts Beach waterfront in their casual clothes, past playgrounds, beachgoers, cyclists, people playing with dogs on the sand, and a singer with an acoustic guitar who stands at a microphone. These folks will be parading for you right here. It will be worth your while. It's called the Mobility Project. I'm relying on the band, but then, you know, it's not them exactly leading me. I'm leading them. I'm sort of like playing the band and directing the band in some ways too. So it's, it really is this exchange of trust. I think I want people to come away understanding that it, that exchange of trust is central to accessibility. On a patch of grass, Carmen conducts the band with his hand. It's the whole band is unified Beyond, be, behind this goal of getting Carmen successfully from one end to the other <laughs> without, without a cane. <laughs> so don't you worry, Carmen. It's all gonna work out. After everything, we're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That good sounds good. Go. Okay. Okay, Carnies, we're gonna muster behind Carmen. Yes. And we're gonna be in formation, our strict formation. <laughs> I always get a little nervous um, uh, before performance, especially when I'm just throwing my cane away and just like, you know, having to rely on, on sound, um, sound cues to navigate my surroundings. I'm on this way. 
Carmen releases his cane. It's all coming together. Drop the cane. Performance day at Kitsilano. Carmen takes slow steps past the cane, a sousaphonist on his left, Tim on his right. Carmen turns his head left and right, and the band inches forward and past pedestrians on a paved path. I feel like we can move as a single organism together um, through the collaboration that we establish through rehearsals, this in interdependent support network. The band traverses the asphalt path, littered with autumn gold and red leaves. Tim alternates playing his sax and speaking into a bullhorn. Passersby film the spectacle on iPhones. Tim gestures to stop. The band waits. Carmen turns toward a curb by a slight grassy slope. Tim steps onto the grass. Carmen feels for the curb with his toe, steps up. Once onto flat grass, the band begins to follow him again. Park visitors chat, take photos, and film the band. A woman spins with a red umbrella. The band stops under a shade tree. With Carmen at the front, they form an arc facing him, an audience gathering. The band plays in time to Carmen punching the air. He holds his open palm up. Wherever I've done this project, people just get into it. They're like, is it a parade? Sometimes people will join. And when they come to understand the dynamic between myself, like someone who doesn't use vision and the band, and how we're collaborating, I think it really shifts their thinking around, you know, what accessibility can be. The band parades past the water and through the park. The point I'm trying to make is that accessibility can be creative and it can be user defined and um, it can be fun um, and collaborative and it, it doesn't need to be handed to you through an institution. Um, it's something that you can, you can determine for yourself. They proceed slowly down the stairs. The band takes the stage. Carmen sits at the front edge. That's what just care and support needs to be in general, um, is, is user-defined and something that where the, the recipient has autonomy um, and the, you know, the power to envision the kind of life that they want to live. A woman wearing a red floral headdress and outfit twirls in front of the stage. Okay, the question was, what would I replace my cane with other than a marching band? I pulled like an old sword out and I was tapping around with that. Um, a parasol, a wizard's wand. Um, but I guess like, I don't know, I really like the marching band. I, I wish I could walk with the marching band most days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mobility device. Credits roll. Mobility Device was created in collaboration with Kristen Lance, Rosal Medina, John Spiek, Sunshine Frerer, Other Sites for Artists Projects, Raven John, Liz Kellen, Tim Sars and the Carnival Band, and Ross Bartlett. Mobility Device was supported by City of Vancouver, Other Sites for Artists Projects, Canada Council for the Arts, and Grand Central Arts Centre. Video directed and produced by Eric Sanderson and Claudia Goodin. Additional camera work by Daniel Pierce. Audio recording by Vladimir Fedelov. Audio mix by Peter Robinson. Archival footage courtesy of Carmen Papalia. Music by The Carnival Band, thecarnivalband.com. Audio description written by Cheryl Green and Ebony Gaitan, narrated by Cheryl Green. Video captioning provided by Cheryl Green, whoamitostopit.com.